Hello and welcome to The Print. I'm Akanksha Mishra and this is Scientifics where I will be taking you through this week's top science news from across the world. Did you know that one of the side effects of melting glaciers due to global warming could be an increasing number of volcanic eruptions? Let me explain how researchers from the University of Wisconsin-Madison drew this connection. They studied six volcanoes in southern Chile using rock dating and crystal analysis to understand the effect of the Patagonian ice sheet on past eruptions. They found that thick glaciers can keep magma trapped deep underground. But as the ice melts and the pressure eases, the magma can rise and explode more violently. This process, already seen in Iceland in the 1970s, may also affect other glaciated regions like Antarctica, North America and New Zealand. The scientists found that after the last ice age in the world, melting glaciers triggered powerful eruptions from deep magma chambers. While the magma system responds slowly, the volcanic activity can be explosive and even influence global climate. Big eruptions release aerosols that cool the earth briefly. But repeated eruptions can add greenhouse gases, speeding up global warming. It's a dangerous climate feedback loop. Melting ice can quite literally fire up the earth. Next, a breakthrough for surgical robotics and artificial intelligence. A robot trained by Johns Hopkins researchers successfully performed a complex portion of a gallbladder removal surgery on a lifelike model. So unlike previous robots that follow strict and pre-programmed instructions, this robot, which is called SRTH, learned and adapted from voice commands by surgeons like a real surgical trainee. It was trained using surgery videos and captions and it can even respond to voice commands like grab the gallbladder head or move left. Think of it as a surgical assistant that's both incredibly precise and smart enough to think on its feet. The robot handled a full sequence of 17 surgical tasks, adjusted to different anatomy and coped with unexpected situations like changes in how the gallbladder looked. While it was slower than a human, its accuracy matched that of a surgeon, said the paper that was published in Science Robotics Journal. This robot, said the scientists, could pave the way for autonomous systems to one day assist or even lead real surgeries, especially in high-risk or remote situations. Next up, did you know that every time a plane takes off from Heathrow Airport or JFK Airport in the US, or a military radar scans the skies for incoming threats, the Earth may be sending out a cosmic we're here signal to the universe. New research reveals that the radar systems that are used by airports and militaries across the globe are powerful enough to be detected by alien civilizations up to 200 light years away. Provided that those aliens have radio telescopes that are as sensitive as ours. So these unintentional signals radiate far beyond our planet. Researchers from the University of Manchester, who presented their work in the Royal Astronomical Society's meeting in Durham, simulated how these waves spread into the space. They found that from the perspective of nearby stars like Barnard star, Earth might appear to blink with distinct artificial patterns. Military radars in particular act like sweeping lighthouse beams and their focused energy could stand out as clear signals of intelligent life. The research suggests that any technologically advanced planet, not just ours, might light up the cosmos in this way, offering a universal clue to alien astronomers that someone is out there watching the skies. Finally, we have a story about how blue sharks don't just wear their color, they engineer it. New research has revealed that their iconic blue shimmer comes from a hidden world of nanoscopic crystals and pigments that are embedded deep within their skin's tiny scales, which are called dermal denticles. These scales have pulp cavities which are filled with reflective guanine crystals, which act as mirrors, and melanin vesicles which absorb light. Together, they act like coordinated teams of glitter and blackout curtains, which filter light to create that signature deep sea blue color. But here's the twist. This isn't just a static paint job in a shark. These structures may allow the shark to change its color. 
the research team using powerful imaging tools and computer models found that subtle shifts in the spacing of these crystals could shift the shark's hue from vibrant blues to greens and even golds and what causes these shifts in color changes in the depth the pressure and even the humidity in the atmosphere nearby it's a color system evolved not just for beauty but for camouflage and survival that's all we have for you today thank you for tuning into the print